It's Monday, September 20th. We just left Delfino Winery, um, where we spent the night as a harvest host. And we just went four miles over to Melrose Winery to check this winery out. It is also a harvest host location. And since we pass through here a couple of times a year on our way to see our daughter in Portland, uh, this may be the place we stay next time. This is pretty good cell service. We didn't have any cell service at Delfino. Um, this uh, can accommodate quite a few rigs, but there's a view over here with a generator running. Not uh, my happiest moment to hear that. Uh, the winery is open, but we're waiting a little bit to go in and taste. Eventually we're going to end up at Henry Estates Winery, which is also a harvest host in the Umpqua area, and we will be spending the night there. So just going to get a little bit of a look at this beautiful winery. It is up on a hill. It has a wonderful grass field below. And then lots and lots of vines. I don't know if they all those vines belong to this winery, but they're beautiful. And they're directly north of the tasting room. about that clear cut that you yeah. see up on the mountainside. It looks too uh, man-made, to be honest. No, that's just so odd. Bergen's oldest it's estate steep. winery. Wow. God only knows what manner of equipment that is. Sun, which is really welcome because we had a morning that was completely 
completely fogged in until August 11th. So we've arrived at Henry Winery in Umpqua, Oregon. This is just up the road from Roseburg where we were last night. It's beautiful here and we're right on the Umpqua River which is behind me. And our van is parked here and the winery is back behind me. So you can see through the trees there's a trestle there with some traffic on it, not bad. And this is the river which isn't flowing too fast right now. Maybe in the spring it flows better. <clears throat> and there's some nice uh, trees along the bank of the river. Kathy's over here scouting out other areas where we might park our rig to get further away from the road. This is a giant field that's not under grape, so they easily could have large events out here and also park quite a few harvest host rigs. This is the area where we think we're gonna pull our rig. There's an old barn here, which is pretty awesome. This is a structure which probably is a hundred or more years old and is abandoned, but left to stand as an object lesson in Entropy.